All right, in this chapter, we're going to talk about crystal structures. Now, what are those? We've already sort of alluded to them, right? When we talked about phase diagrams, we kept on talking about things like ferrite, austenite, cementite. Crystal structures are simply the way that we describe these materials. And if you remember from our in-class demo with the iron wire that we heated up and it drooped and then all of a sudden it shrunk and then it drooped again, that's because it underwent a phase transformation from one phase into another. Right? For example, at low temperatures, the thermodynamically favorable phase for pure iron is right down here, this region, and that's ferrite, right? Ferrite, and that transforms at 912C into this other region. We cross the line up into this region, and now we get austenite. So what's the difference between ferrite and austenite? Well, we know that the volume contracts as you go from ferrite, as you go from uh, ferrite into austenite, it contracts. And in this chapter, we're going to learn that there are actually two different crystal structures. One is called body-centered cubic, BCC. The other one's called face-centered cubic, FCC. And the name basically gives it away. If we take a look at these crystal structures, here's what they look like. This one is body-centered cubic. You can see the unit cell, see the box drawn here. That's one, what's called unit cell, like repeating unit. And so I've drawn two of them next to each other, and you can see that the center, there's atoms on the corners, plus one in the center. Whereas in the face-centered uh, cubic unit cell, here's two unit cells, again you can see the square there, that's one unit cell, that these atoms are located on the faces, kind of like dice, right? The atoms are located on the faces. So what's the difference between these? For one thing, it shrinks, that makes sense. If you look at this, the room temperature phase, there's more, it looks like more open space, but when you compare that to the FCC, they've shrunk down, it's gotten more condensed. But this is what's crazy, take a look at this. When we look at the phase diagram, how much would you predict carbon could you stuff into these lattices? Without looking at the phase diagram, you'd think, well, the more open one should be able to tolerate more carbon than the more dense, densely packed one. It should be able to squish less carbon in there, right? Wrong. Take a look at this. We can use our phase diagram to examine how much carbon can fit inside of them. At its maximum, the maximum amount of carbon that we can stuff into this BCC lattice is right there, 0 0.022 weight percent, so barely any, which is crazy because when you look at this structure, you think to yourself, God, there's a lot of open space in there. I should be able to put carbon all over the place. And then you compare that to the other structure, the FCC structure, and it can tolerate all the way out to 2.14%, so it can withstand... 100 times more carbon. Why? Why? Well, it actually has to do with the size of what are called the interstitials in the structure. Interstitials are the spots between the lattice. Like, for example, right here, I can see this little spot between these two atoms. That's an interstitial. There's actually the biggest interstitial in this structure is in the junction between these four atoms, right? Right in the middle of those four atoms is the biggest spot, and it's actually not that big. When you compare that to FCC, even though overall it's more densely packed, it leaves some pretty big openings in here. These are pretty large openings that are surrounded by six atoms each, and so you can actually get um, more carbon to fill these in the FCC than the BCC, even though it's overall a more densely packed structure. In this chapter, we're going to dive into lots of different types of crystal structures, and we're going to explain how their way these atoms come together gives rise to lots of the properties we care about, like ductility or density and lots of other things.